Alrighty, mate. Now, this is the part of the show where the, our our guest gets to give a bit of a lesson to the viewers and the listeners and share some of their wisdom. Now, when I asked you what you're going to do, you very cleverly said you were just going to wing it. So I'm just uh, curious now as to see what you're going to drop on us. So, mate, it's all yours. Oh, geez. Thanks, Ben. Uh, <laughs> um, well, there's two reasons I call Wingy's Wicked Q, Wingy's Wicked Q. Uh, one's because I wing it. And um, I've got no idea what I'm going going in with half the time. Uh, Till I got the bung wing. Um, so, so yeah, I go in with uh, Wingy's Wicked Q. It's an old nickname of mine that I've sort of adopted. Um, but look, I think the biggest part of advice is those looking to get into barbecue as a business. Um, I, I thought I'd touch on that a little bit because I had a I had a crack at that as we touched on a little earlier. Um, but um, yeah, capital is is a big thing. Um, test your market. Um, yeah, come in knowing what you're about to do and what you're about to get into because I made that mistake and um, I was trying to shuffle a full-time job with, uh, you know, a weekend job and no money to do it um, and no market to, to reach here in Canberra at the time. So it was quite difficult and I folded. Um, but, yeah, I, I think, uh, yeah, just you really need to knuckle in and research things before you sort of get going uh, as a as a business. Uh, take it from someone that, that failed that. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah, right. So for for those who aren't necessarily in the in the business world, capital is the money that you have up front, like a like seed money to 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 get a business started. What are some of the things that that you wish you had been able to do had you had that capital? Look, I. A food truck would have been a good start, um, yeah, and a, and a probably a bit more of an in-depth business plan. Probably some sort of financial advisor would have helped. Um, but yeah, look, I, I went into it with a few barbecues, a trailer, um, a Facebook page, and some business cards, um, and a bit of certification. So you know, we're all good to go. Um, but yeah, testing the market. So someone that can market well is is massive. You really need to get your name out there. You need to get it out quick, um, and you need to be consistent. So whether that's either um, through Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, you need to be putting up two, three posts a day. You need to be really pushing your business to keep it drawing in. I didn't do any of these things. <laughs> um, <laughs> And thought that, you know, being one of two, I think at the time, barbecue businesses uh, in Canberra, and one of them has is, is sort of slowed down quite a lot as well. I didn't have a bigger pit as uh, Sean Polman here. He's got a massive, uh, massive pit from, uh, uh, I can't think of the name of him now. People will know who Sean is anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it just just didn't work. Everyone was like, "Oh, do you do spit roast? Do you do spit roast?" So, um, you know, I hit up the guys at Barbecue Spit Rotisseries and got a couple of spits, and just so I could get some business. That's like other than two or three barbecue low and slow cooks I did, which went well. Uh, it was all spit roasts, and I got sick of it. And you know, that's not what I went in for, went into it for. So, yeah, what that what you know happens. Interesting, yeah. So, so when you say testing the market, you mean like finding out what, what trends are on point at that time in that area where you want to do business? Correct. Back then, people saw the word barbecue and they thought steak sandwich and, uh, you know, a couple of onions and, and they sort of just move on, you know. Uh, the, like I said, anyone else was just, do you do spit roasts? Like, yes, you know, I can, I suppose. So I was hiring them at the start and, yeah, what's the point? Just go and buy some. And, yeah, did a lot of spit roast. Very tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, yeah it's, it's a very boring thing to cook, but, you know, it worked. But, yeah, it's not what I went into it for and it wasn't my passion. So, yeah, got out of Fair it. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So so what lessons did you learn from that experience that, you, that you're carrying across into Wingy's Wicked Q? Well, Wingy's, Wingy's Wicked Q isn't so much a business. It's more of a... Um, it's, it's more of a share, sharing of knowledge is what I'm trying to achieve here. I don't want to make anything monetary out of it. Um, it's, yeah, literally, you know, just just 
I guess getting people involved and interested in barbecue properly, um, making those mistakes, it's not the end of the world. And, and that's the idea of it. Uh, hence why I help people when I cook, they ask me to come in and do things for them. I, I'm happy to do it yet. You can pay me, <laughs> you know, I'm using my time, but this is a personal thing and, um, you know, I'm choosing to do this. So yeah, I, I just want to get my, um, my point out there and my love out there and, my knowledge out there, as, as I know a lot of you guys do, and um, and just share that and, and get people passionate about barbecue. As um, or Cameron Cameron Davidson, he was he was my first point of contact, uh, good old Cam, and uh, he did that to me, and you know it was just so contagious. Um, yeah, and and that's that's my idea. I just want to push that out there and really get people involved and love it. Yeah, fair enough. Now there's there's certainly um. Uh plenty of people out there sharing the knowledge who, who are some of your um less sort of who do you look up to who inspires you in terms of that of that sharing knowledge you know we've we've got you know malcolm reed or uh our, our very own malcolm reed here in australia aaron palmer with his low and slow basics you mentioned shuey there before um who are your sort of your your icons in this regard early days mate you know where this is going don't you? you touched on this um yeah early days it was um I was learning a lot off barbecue. Um, I forgot the name of the bloody show again. Barbecue. Um, barbecue Pitmasters. It's a lot. <laughs> uh, watching a lot of that. And, um, yeah. So I got to go to the States and meet Tuffy Stone over there, which was really cool. And um, I won a competition first class there and back and five-star hotels. And oh, yes, that's right. Five grand spending money, US dollars. And, yeah, it was a good gig. And, um got to spend a, a you know a good day with Tuffy one on one and he showed me a lot of things so he was a big mentor for a long time and um uh, he, he's pretty secretive he doesn't share a lot of things um on like youtube and things like that it's you've got to go to his classes or you've got to meet the dude personally um so that was a big deal um but these days it would be pretty you'd be surprised <laughs> who i get uh inspiration from as a, a big part of my inspo right now i chat a lot with grant neal or grant neal from oh. um, the smoking joint so he's a good yeah he's i have a, a lot of chats with grant and he sort of helps me out and yeah he's good he's doing a lot of crazy things right now with the skinny mixer and um he's got a hell of a lot to share so he's always open to take on you know and, and hand out information so if you're ever stuck Bombard his inbox. <laughs> He'll love you for it. Just He'll love just, me for just it. Spam too. Him. <laughs> <laughs> just just send him photos of your haircut each day. Yeah, that's it, Hollywood. He'll love it. 